Hi, my name is Dave Georgson. I'm the Director of Development for the EverQuest franchise, and I'm here to tell you about what we're doing this March. It's going to be a really great month for us. With EverQuest turning 15 this month, and EverQuest 2 releasing a whole new host of features, and then of course Landmark working through both its alpha and its closed beta phases, well, it's an extremely exciting time for us. We're glad that you're all along for the ride, and I'm going to let the producers tell you individually about your separate games. All right, thanks, Dave. Hi, everybody. I'm Tom Tarazis, and this is what's going on in EverQuest. At the beginning of the month, we launched anniversary events that are paying tribute to nostalgic EverQuest. And in mid-March, you're going to see that we have two all-new race class combinations that you can play that have never been played before, the Wood Elf Beast Lords and the Froglock Monks. And at the same time, we're going to be launching level 85 heroic characters. So heroic characters are a way for you to get into game and start at the content that we've been creating for the past couple years. Now, a couple weeks later, we'll be launching the Plane of War. Created about 10 years ago, it was something that wasn't completed for the Planes of Power launch, and it's something that we've always been wanting to do. So come in and check it out. We thought it was the best time to touch on that nostalgic look and feel of the game for our 15th anniversary. So tell your friends and log in and catch all the great things that are happening in EverQuest. Hi, my name is Holly Longdale, the senior producer of EverQuest 2. I wanted to give you a little bit of an update of what's happening in the game now, as well as what's coming soon. In January, we started releasing our weekly updates, in addition to our weekly bug fixes. A couple of things we released in February alone were the player-voted Oakmas Prestige Home, as well as the PvP War Zone we added to the Nagafin server with additional gear and balance changes. And we have a lot of great stuff coming in March, including we're adding the Channeler class to the Heroic Character lineup. Also, later in the month, with the EverQuest anniversary and our Chrono Portal events, we're going to be releasing two brand new Heritage Quests. And looking ahead, our designers are hard at work putting the final touches on the contested version of High Keep, which is a dungeon we released with our Tears of Vision expansion in November last year. We are doing all new events and all new items that are going to complement the existing level 95 content we have in the game. Also in April, we're getting ready to release an eerie mount, one that you've been asking us for for a long time. And with that, congratulations to EverQuest for 15 incredible years. We'll see you in Nora. Hi, I'm Terry Michaels, senior producer for EverQuest Next and EverQuest Next Landmark. Now that we're in alpha, it's been amazing to see the reaction of players getting into the game. Uh, and we're working really hard to get into closed beta, which is coming really soon. We've recently added three major things to the game that made a huge difference. Uh, we added the ability to build cooperatively by setting permissions with your friends so that they can come onto your claim and, and help you build whatever it is that you're trying to create. Uh, we also added two new biomes, the, the tundra and the old growth forest. Really made a, a, a big change in the world so that there's a, diverse areas to go explore, look through, find objects, uh, different materials, things like that, so that you can really bring your creations uh, from your imagination into life in the game. And then also we've added uh, the idea of add-on claims, uh, which is the ability to place a claim next to a claim you already have so that you have a larger space in order to build bigger things, more amazing uh, ideas that you have that you can, again, work with your friends if you want to. We've seen so many amazing things that players have created, from taverns to pyramids, gardens, statues, whatever it may be. If you can imagine it, somebody has probably tried to create it already. As a matter of fact, players discovered something in our game that we didn't even know was possible. And that's something that's called microvoxels. And with it, they're able to do things that we didn't even know the technology could create. It's been amazing. So that's our plans for March. I hope that you're as excited as we all are about what's going on in our games and, uh, well, we'll see you in-game.